Hey y'all, Heather here with Heather's Country Crochet. If you are new to my channel, thank you for dropping by. If you are returning, thank you. Um, I do have some reminders that I want to go over, um, a few updates. Um, I got some things I want to show y'all today. And um, so yeah. Um, I also want to go ahead and let everybody know for the, well, for the new people, if you're, um, if you've never been to my channel before, <clears throat> we talk about uh, crochet, <clears throat> yarn, knitting, hand dyed yarn, um, diamond painting, um, mostly any kind of craft that you can think of. <laughs> um, so we are jack of all trades here. So I hope you enjoy this, and uh, if you do, make sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you can. Um, that would be great. And also comment or share if you're able. All right, so um, let's get into some things that I want to talk about. First off, I want to remind everybody that um, I will be hosting a live crochet along, and that will be starting this Sunday. Um, what date is that? Sunday the 13th. I will be going live on my channel at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. So, if you would like to join in and crochet along with me, please um, come over and join in on that live. Um, or if you don't want to um, crochet with us, you can come and chat with us. That'll be fine, too. So, um, we will be crocheting a cocoon cardigan. So, um, another thing is um, my Etsy shop. There is a sale going on on my Etsy shop. It has been going on since last week. So, today's Thursday the 10th. Um, the sale goes through tomorrow. All, all day tomorrow. Um, but it will end tomorrow at midnight. So, um be sure to go over and check that out if you're able to. Um, if you're not able to buy anything, if you would just give me, a, you know, a like or heart or favorite my shop or favorite some items or whatever, that really helps me out. So that would be great too. Um, but that sale will be ending tomorrow at midnight, November the 11th. Also, um, I will be doing an update to my Etsy shop tomorrow, Friday the 11th. Um, I have uh, dyed a lot of new yarn, so um, I will be putting all of it up on the shop, and um, the I blanked. <laughs> um, It'll be the yarns that I dyed and showed last week on my podcast episode, and then also some that I'm going to be showing here today. So, um, also, there will not be a tutor tutorial this week um, for Tutorial Thursday, since we're going to be doing the cow and um, that's basically going to be kind of like a tutorial thing also. So that will count for the tutorial for this week. Um, now, let's look at some yarn. <laughs> okay. So, first off, I have the, this is all Christmas themed yarn, guys. Um, so... I have peppermint swirl, and y'all, this red is going to be blown out on my camera because my walls are red, my camera is not great, so, but this is peppermint 
swirl and it is on it's going to be available on fingering weight and DK weight so you can get it on either and these will be in my Etsy shop tomorrow also have fruitcake and once again my camera does not show the colors well but this is called fruitcake and this is available on DK weight only for, for now Then I have a brand new Christmas sock set. And this is the Holly Jolly sock set. So with it, you will get two 20 gram minis and a 100 gram fingering weight. Same. So all of that comes together. I wanted to try to show the, see. And the screen is darker in real life, y'all. My camera's not showing it. But that is the new Christmas sock set. And I will be featuring this on my Etsy shop. This will be the feature yarn. So that is that. So those are the new yarns that I have dyed for my Christmas themes and then the ones from last week they'll be uploaded and um, put on as well so if y'all want any of that that'll be there um, for that okay now let's get into some things that I have been working on this week y'all I have been like really busy it looks like because I have like a whole list here <laughs> no it won't take that long I have actually finished uh, a, a, a few things maybe a couple but for this I'm gonna have to get up and show you it because it is huge but I finished the locking fillet crochet blanket that I was working on for my dad and um, I had originally said that I was going to give it to him for Christmas, but his birthday is actually Thanksgiving Day. So I decided that I'm going to give it to him for Thanksgiving. I mean, his birthday. <laughs> so, let me show y'all this. Let me get it turned the right way. Okay. Y'all, it is so big. But it turned out really awesome. I love the way that it turned out. So, yeah. Still got couple of ends that I got to weave in on it, but I'll get that done. Oh, this thing's heavy. Basically like two afghans put together, so. All right, now, so some of you may know and some of you may not know, but Connie over at Just Another Stitch has been hosting a knit along for a striped beanie. And um, I had shared about it on my community tab. And um, so this is where we are in the cow so far with it. This one is mine. And I'm just using scraps for mine, y'all. Um, just some scrap yarn that I had. Some, um, just some acrylic yarn. 
So that is that. Um, I am waiting for the next video for this and I, so that I can finish that up. So if you knit and you did not know about this, um, go over and check her out. And um, even if you don't knit, you could actually check it out because this is a great pattern for beginners. It's very simple. Um, and um, I'm still a beginner, um, but I, I, li I like to challenge myself for with like new things really fast so um i actually no um i i y'all i have loved these kinds of sweaters ever since i've ever seen them and i mean i've bought several that were store-bought um like this in the the past but I wanted to try making my own. So it's the, um, I have not gotten very far on it yet. Um, it actually took me all day one day to do just this much <laughs> on this sweater because it is a very slow going process for me. Um, so, but that's okay. I'm learning so but so far it's looking good um, my tension is a little bit off in places um, but not so bad that it is horribly noticeable so I'm okay with that um, but yeah I uh, just to give y'all an idea of kind of what the starting part of the pattern on it looks like. Um, well, let me see if I can turn it right way. Because <laughs> okay, this is the collar. It's knitted from the collar down. So that's what it looks like so far. And I got this pattern off of Ravelry. And um, the pattern is called Blizzard. And it is by Jessica McDonald Designs. And I love it. And um, she even has um, a YouTube channel where she explains how to do some of the stuff. It's not a full, complete tutorial of the whole sweater, but the more complicated parts of it, she is explaining on there. So that has also helped me to kind of figure this thing out. Um, so yeah, now for all of the crocheters. If you would like a fair owl type sweater. Here is a crocheted pattern one. Um, this is what I've gotten so far on it, and it looks like it's knitted, but it is not. This is crocheted. Um, you're actually doing it with the uh, knit stitch but with a cro crochet hook. It is the crocheted version of the knit stitch. Um, this one is called the Traveler Fair Isle Crochet Sweater. Um, it is by Brianna K Designs, and she is also on Ravelry and YouTube. Um, there is, again, a tutorial for this sweater um, on YouTube. It is not the full complete tutorial. She's mostly just going through like this part of the pattern where it's in the design part of it. Because once you get past a certain part on it, it 
um, will just be one solid color just crocheting around or like the body part of it. That is what I've done on that. And I will tell you, and it, it takes some getting used to doing that stitch because it's it's a single crochet, but you're going like down into the center of the single crochet rather than in the top of it. You're like going between the legs of it. And if you don't get in between those legs just right, you don't get that stitch. So if you do it, if you crochet tight, and I do, um, it's really hard to get in that stitch like you're supposed to. So I've had to really watch my tension while I was crocheting that, that little bit <laughs> um, because I am a tight crocheter. So I've had to try to loosen my tension up and that is very hard for me to do. Um, my other sweater that I was working on, I did start the sleeve finally. So let me show you what I've gotten done on it so far. <clears throat> it's not much, but a little bit. I have a little bit of a sleeve. Got to, uh, I'll stop there because I was running out of yarn. I got to add in my new, new skein, but... So, a very little bit of a sleeve there. So, I'm really ready to get this sweater done, y'all. I need to just sit down and crank it out because I don't like the way that sounded. <laughs> I need to sit down and just knit it because um, I, I really want to wear this sweater and it's six and start getting cold, at least I think. <laughs> The weather says that it's fixing to start getting cold. We'll see if it actually does. <laughs> um, but yeah, I want to wear it. So I really, really need to get this done. I'm probably going to go ahead and finish this this coming week. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. We'll see next week on the podcast. <laughs> we'll see how much of it that I get done. Probably only get like the rest of that sleeve done or something. Maybe not. Maybe I'll be able to finish it. So that is that. Now for my socks that I've been working on. I've really done more, I think, knit this week than I've done anything. Um, I don't know, it may actually even kind of balance out with as much crocheting as I did on this blanket to get it finished. Um, but I did finally finish one of my husband's socks. Y'all, he has a huge foot. Look how long that is. <laughs> and this is tight. He tried it on and it's even this huge sock is tight. He has got humongous feet. I'm telling you. Okay. Um, but... I hate these sock blockers. They're they're really really not great. Um, but you get the idea of what it looks like. This is one of the socks, and um, Kay Litton over at the Crazy Sock Lady YouTube um, channel. Her, she had um, she didn't really post a video, but I think it was like um, something that she had done on Instagram or something. But um, she said that the best way to make sure that you don't stop after you finish your first sock is as soon as you finish it, go ahead and cast on your second sock and do at least two rounds. So I did. I went ahead and done that so that it's on there and it is ready to go. But I did three rounds instead of two. Um, so, yeah. So maybe I can go ahead and get that pair of socks finished because I really want to start my pair of um, 
Annie's uh, socks from last month that I got in. I still haven't started yet. I really want to start it. So I'm really hoping that I can get those done. Another thing is I've got to really focus more on my fall pair of socks that I was working on because um, the I'm really behind. So I've got to try to get these finished by the 15th because the knit along for these socks ends on the 15th. Um, so yeah, I've really got to work more on these than anything. Actually, my scrappy, I'm, I'm not even sure that knit along, I may have missed the deadline on it um, because I have not been working on my socks like I should. But I did work more on this one and I got the leg completely finished. So um, I am all ready to start the heel flap and heel turn on this sock. Still only my first sock of this pattern. <laughs> but I want to get them done. I love the way it is turning out. Those colors are just absolutely gorgeous. And if you are not... Uh, familiar this is my falling leaves sock set it is over on my etsy shop and i think i do still have one or two sets of these left available i'm not sure uh, i do know that there's still some on there so if you're interested there you go because this is an awesome awesome sock set y'all gorgeous if you like autumn colors like fall colors it's awesome and I love fall colors. They're all my colors. So that is that one. Ugh, running out of room. Okay, and here is what I have accomplished on my strappy sock. Um, I have gotten more of it done. Also, I am tangled up here. Okay, so... The last time I showed it, I had just started the heel flap on here. Well, I finished the heel flap and the heel turn, and I have rejoined back in the round to do my decreases and start the foot part. So, there's the front of my sock, and there is the back of my sock. And this was yarn that I bought as a mystery um, yarn from um, Wild Poppy Yarns on Etsy. Um, so, yeah, gorgeous. I love those colors. They are absolutely gorgeous together, all of them. And it was all in a set that it came this way so I was like well I'm gonna make some strappy socks with it so yeah Ugh. love the way it's turning out but I've got to get busy on finishing that too hopefully I have not missed the deadline on those um also the yarn that I'm using for my husband's sock was some Hobby Lobby yarn that I got I think when they were doing their clearance sale or whatever okay so that wraps up everything that I wanted to talk about and show you all today um again don't forget about the crochet along that will be starting this Sunday live here with me as your host so um also tomorrow update etsy shop check it out favorite some stuff for me get that just helps to um like make people see my shop more if you do that so it really helps me even if you can't buy anything or anything right now i understand times is hard right now <laughs> believe me i understand um but so, but it, you know, if you can, if you don't mind, give me some hearts on there because that'll help me out too. 
all right well i'm gonna let y'all go and um i will see y'all sunday bye y'all